Okay, let me let me turn down the music here. First off, I want to say you're welcome. You're welcome. You know, all I've been hearing is Jackson make a rec plus review. Jackson, when are you gonna make the rec plus review? You know what? Hold your horses up. Because you know what? I'm sick of y'all asking me when am I gonna do the review. The review's the review, and the review's gonna come out whenever I want it to come out, okay? But anyways, this game today was a game of no others. I've never played against opponents like this before. Ah, uh, anyways, anyways, take, an, take a look at my notes here. The end of a beginning. Quote from one of my favorite childhood books, Frog and Toad. You know, what does this quote mean? Absolutely nothing. It has no significance at all to what I'm talking about. But this book, if you want to read about a toad and a frog being best friends and trying to figure out the world together, I totally recommend it. It's one of those classic reads that you hear about all the time. It's a classic book, you know? Classic book. Okay, I woke up today, I washed my hair with hairspray, and I was like, this day is better than every other day. It's, it's like no other day. My parents weren't home. I've never experienced anything like it before. How do I get to the game, you may ask? Tristan Crone's dad. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, okay, we pull up in his Mercedes Benz, we get to the game in his Benz, open the Benz's door, and I take one step onto the gravel road, or should I say, the concrete road, you know, when I step on the concrete road, and I put my foot on the concrete road, and what do I see? I see an Asian girl staring back at me. I see 13-year-olds staring back at me. I see Coach Bob staring back at me. I see, I see six other kids staring back at me. And I'm ready. I am ready to participate in this game that we call Rex Soccer. Oh, they do it. Hey. Oh, they do it. Hey. Oh, they do it. Yeah. You know? You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, but anyways, we pull up in the game, and it's not what I expect. There are 13-year-olds ready to play me, the veteran of this league. Uh, let's take a, take a, let's take a, let's take a moment of silence to commend Coach Bob, who sadly couldn't be at the game. Coach Bob. Coach Bob's been playing in the Premier Leagues for centuries. Coach Bob is the reason why I play this game. Coach Bob, since you weren't there, you, you gave the, the other team a chance of them winning. And that is just not acceptable, Coach Bob. First off, let's talk about the legend, the myth. You might have heard about his brother, Blake Jarvis. But this kid is said to be better. I'm talking about JJ, Justin Jarvis, okay? The amount of respect and gratitude I have towards this kid is everlasting. You know? Uh, the way he runs down the field is the way a sloth climbs up an Amazon tree. Slow, but yet graceful. With slow strides, but still, he makes his way up the tree. I've never seen anything like it. Let's talk about Mike Rose. Connect correct pronunciation. Mike Rose. I've never seen a player hustle before like that. You know, it's the ears, I think. The ears help him glide through the field, you know. He's just one of those players that goes all out and is not afraid to play the way he plays. The funny thing is, he's just a rookie. Dylan Palumbo. 
Dale and Palumbo. One of the worst players I've ever seen in the league. And I've spent times overseas in the Euro Leagues, in the African Leagues, in the Antarctic Leagues, in the, in the Fairfield County League. And I've seen a lot of players. But this player, one of the worst players I've ever seen play. You know, he wears the captain's band that he got at the dollar store and he claims himself captain. Well, you know, Jake C. Roy, more like Jake C. your boy. He was a man amongst juveniles. His beard was older than some of the players. You know, Jake T. Lewis. Three words for you. Coach. Bob's. Grandkid. Okay. James Rosetta. James Frazetta, James, whatever your last name is. The heart, the determination, the way you played really inspired me today. Okay, you put it all out there, and I commend you for that, James Frazetta. Okay, let's talk about another kid. I don't like to bring this kid up much. Peter Wine, Peter Winnie, Peter Winning, Peter Wieners, Peter, Peter Winner, Wiener, Wieners, Peter Wieners. Peter Winans, you played with no heart today. You know, I think you should go to the doctor and check if you still have a heart. Because I don't know how you're living, okay? You're walking around heartless. And I, I just don't know how you played the game the way you played the game. Because you're absolutely trash. You got no upper body skills. Your footwork is terrible. Your voice is just obnoxious. And uh, your muscles, you know, you're, what, you're taking your shirt off on the field. This ain't the Jersey Shore. You know, I, you know, I can't stand it. I don't really have any notes. I just do this off the top of my head and I do it because I love it, you know. Let's talk about Kyle Gaynor. Kyle Gaynor, way to step up today and play goalie first half. Outstanding, remarkable. Way to play goalie, you know. Goalie isn't one of those things you just step into the goal and then you play. Even though I did that and I accomplished that and I'm really good at goalie. But uh, even though I let in two goals, Kylo, Kyle was just relentless out there and I want to give him props, okay? Now let's talk about Ethan Brisson. Ethan Brisson, the way he hustled on defense, the way he moved on defense was something like I've never seen before. It was like a rhinoceros stampeding over an African man. He was so fast. He changed the way I looked at the game. My perception is... My mind is blown, let's say that. And then let's talk about Tristan Crone. Tristan Crone, the first thing that pops into my mind is veteran. Tristan Crone, the veteran, okay? Uh, first year player? No, I don't think so. Second year player? Oh, no, he's too good for that. Third year veteran? Yeah, I think so. And I just held on my middle finger because I don't care, okay? Tristan Crone's a third year veteran. That's commitment. You know, there was some speculation about if he was going to come back and play in the league. You know, he did. And that's remarkable, okay? Now let's talk about Christian Adams here. Christian Adams. You know, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to run anymore. It's really hard. I can't hang out with people. It's really hard. Oh my God. Christian Adams. Suck it up. You want to make it in this league. You want to be good in this league. You got to put in the work. You got to be the best out on the field every possible moment. You got to hustle your heart out. You got to go through the sweat, the grind, the tears, the blood, everything to get out to the point where I am now. I've played overseas. I've played in the African and Euro Leagues. I've played in the Fairfield County Leagues. I've played in the Derby League. So you cannot tell me how to play the way I play because I play with heart. Okay, player? Okay, let's talk about... Uh, Jordan, otherwise known as Michael Jordan, because the way he played was so good, so good that it brought tears to my eyes, you know, the way he would toss the ball in, the way he would throw the ball in, the way he would kick the ball, was just something I've never seen before, who else am I missing here, who else am I missing here? You already know who I'm missing. Trevor Palmer. The reason why I played the game the way I played the game. This kid, one of the five veterans from last year. You know, this kid's not afraid to go out in the field and then play the way he wants to play. This kid changed the game. This kid has mind control over all the other players. He steps out into the field. They stare at him. 
they don't know what to do. Now let's talk about one more person. Did we talk about this kid already? If we did, I'm going to bring up his name again. Andrew Perna. Andrew Perna. The way he would play out there. Up and coming rapper in Newtown, Connecticut. The way he would play is something I've never seen before. You know, a lot of kids thought it was funny. Call him uh, Scooby-Doo. Uh, no, they were calling him uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Uh, and they told him to eat a Scooby snack. Didn't like that, okay? You know, I don't like when people are making fun of the players on this team. This is a group of, this is a brotherhood of players, you know, 19 kids. I call it 19 kids accounting. I don't even like that show on TLC, but that's what our team represents. A group of kids banded together from all different ethnicities. Actually, even though we only have two kids from different ethnicities, but we still go out there and we still play our hearts out. We play more with our hearts than we play with the ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else should I talk about today? There were just so many good players out there. If I missed you, I'm sorry, Danny Arneth. I forgot to mention you. Coach's son. Coach's son. Coach's son. Coach's son. Those are just some of the chants you could hear from the sideline. Uh, it just really shows you a lot about how this kid is put together. He's like a little machine out there, you know? He's just not afraid to go out there and, you know, just destroy the game. Uh, Coach Barry, why didn't you show up to the game, Coach Barry? Because I'm sick of you giving me excuses. You see me, Coach Barry? If you don't show up, Coach Barry, I'm not showing up to the next practice. And you can count that. You can count. Oh, my God, dude. You can count that on. Let me put my hat back on the hair, Joe. So just, oh, my God. Okay, first of all, why are we playing against a sixth grade Asian girl when we are full of seniors? It's like, it's like a baby playing against an adult in minor league baseball. Unheard of, okay? Uh, I really just don't know what else to say. There were some great plays today. Uh, James, uh, no, I'm not going to bring up James. I'm going to bring up Dylan Palumbo. Uh, if I ever see you do any of that again, I'm going to be happy because you're, you're just flat out a terrible player. But uh, let's who else should I talk about? No one else. Let's talk about the game here. There are punches being thrown. The ref comes up to me. He's like, you know, you, this, isn't, this isn't football. I was like, yeah, this is European football. So I just played your ref, you know. This one kid comes up to me, number 36. I think he was from... He was definitely an Italian descent. You know, he comes up to me, he slide tackles me illegally. So you know what I do? I grab him by the waist. I throw him on the ground. And that was the last time you heard a 36 touch in anyone, okay? Because I'm a beast. And I play this game because I love this game. But that's not the only time where things got rough. As I told you, Andrew Perna was going at it with players. Michael Roche was going at it with players. Justin Jarvis was slide tackling, gliding, moving as fast as he could. I told you he was faster than a sloth. He was more like an Egyptian moth. Okay? Now, what else? So, they put me in goal the second half. Interesting move by a coach. I really, I really applaud coaches' decision making. But anyways, you know, we were just playing, we were just playing, we were just playing. And uh, they scored a goal on me. Okay, I was like, okay, nerves, nerves. Don't worry, the nerves. Then they come at me again. They think I'm not a good goalie. I'm one of the best goalies in the league. I'm one of the best players y'all ever see play in the league. So don't call me a bad goalie. I was kicking balls. I was throwing balls. I was touching balls. I was doing everything you could do with a ball. Okay? So, you know, the reason why... The score was tied. I got to blame it on the referee. Was he certified or not? I want to know. I think our team deserves this. We need justice for our team. Okay? Uh, now, that's all I have to say. Uh, Rec Plus 2016 first review. We ouch. Peace.